Hi everybody, it's time to open up a new weekly vlog. Woo. Woo! We had quite a lot of people in the premiere of last night. It was like 200 people, wasn't it? It was over two, about 230 people, Ooh. so that was a lot. So thank you if you attended our live premiere of the weekly vlog. Um, it is Tuesday today. Tuesday. So we're going out now to the shops to get some cat food and some things for the slow cooker. Ooh. So we're going to do chicken in white wine sauce this Ooh. week Are in we the know? slow cooker. When he says we're doing it. I mean you. He is. Ah, oh, just look at this person's car. That is a fairy mobile. There we go. So we've just finished in Morrison's and we need to go and get some cat food now from a different store. And I think I made a mistake earlier. I think I said we were having the slow cooker tonight and we're not. We're having leftover pasta tonight and the slow cooker tomorrow. And I think we're going to try and do the slow cooker maybe once a week. Um, so next week, I think we're fancying some fish chowder in it. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yes, yeah. so Maureen said, can she have a large raspberry trifle for £3? And she said, keep it in your fridge and she'll come and get it in the next few days. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting Maureen over. Oh, so, yeah, so this is for the... Um, we're doing chicken in white wine sauce, I think yeah. I have said that. We've got the thigh fillets. What else is there? What have we forgot? What was the sauce called? Chicken in white wine and we forgot the white wine. Oh dear. Well, we're going to have to go tomorrow then, aren't we, to get some white wine? Ah! Can you do, can you do it with prosecco? <laughs> you could do it with prosecco. Would it work? Yeah. Would it be a bit fizzy? Maybe. Well, the, the I don't think. will go, won't it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm, okay. We forgot the wine, honey, because I I've, I've been having honey on uh, toast. Uh, a big, massive onion. What else is there? Oh. <laughs> Hello, we've got an elf. So this is the elf for Elf on the Shelf. So I think for Vlogmas, you'll be seeing this elf around and you'll have to comment when where you see him in the house. He'll be featuring. What else did we get? Um, another Country Life butter. Yeah, some cream. Some cream, we've got some thyme and of course some rosemary. Carrots, frozen okay. peas, petit pois. Petit pois, darling. And that's it for our little shopping haul. So we do have wine. We've got half a bottle in the fridge. Anyway, I'm going to introduce Bo to Mr. Elf. What do you think about him? What do you think? Do you like him? Here, there's a big beast sniffing my hand. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe I should ride him. Oh, oh and he's had his foot gnawed by a beast, by a great beast. Bow, no. Oh, I've got to show people the new lamp. Oh, yeah. I don't think I showed, I think I told you about it, but um, the batteries weren't working. So this is amazing. It's from Amazon. It's like a an uplighter stick light. Um, when it came, it did actually come with batteries, but the batteries were no good. So once I replaced the batteries, you can see it's remote control, it can change colours. I don't know if you're getting the full effect of the colours. There's all different effects, depending on the mood that you want. So there's like red, you can do all the festive colours. That's red, there's green, or you can just type it on the white. It's really, really good. And it's quite low energy efficient because it's just um, you know, like the undercounter um LED strips, it's basically those. Um, and it's really, really good. So I think it's good in the space. I'm really liking it. So yeah, that's, uh, I'll, I will leave it linked for you. And here's one we made earlier. So this was, we had another one of these yesterday. So it was made yesterday. Uh, it's a cheese pasta bake, uh, and it was delicious. But today we've got it with some veg as well. So yummy, cheese. Hello everyone. I'm actually making tonight's dinner and I completely forgot to start vlogging it, which I'm a terrible vlogger. I do apologise. But this is what we're doing. I'm doing like a chicken and a white wine creamy sauce. Uh, so in here at the moment I've just got some potatoes, some carrots and some onions. I'm going to be cheeky and put some bacon lardons in as well. And then I'm going to sear this chicken, whack that in, put all the saucy stuff in and then away we go for the next eight hours. Yum yum. Okay, so next to go in the pot with our chicken, I've got some chicken stock here. We've also got some white wine, some rosemary and thyme, some salt and pepper. I'm going to lug all these in and then I'll turn the thing on. 
and voila! In the last hour we just added some cream and some mushrooms and then leave it go. And now we are ready to do some taste testing. Can you wait? I'm so hungry! <laughs> num, num, num. It's Thursday and we have a new cherries order come in. But this one's a little bit different and a bit special because... Cherries have actually asked us to be live, to go live, on their app. So if you download the Cherries app on the 22nd of November, yes, it is November, um, I had to think then, uh, it's not December quite yet, but on the 22nd at 7pm, we are going live. Um, and we're going to be unboxing this box live on the Cherries app, so get that downloaded. Uh, also... We were in Home Bargains the other day. Um, I didn't get to film because it was so busy. Um, and this is a bit like their version of the Woodwick candles, which are very expensive. This candle from Woodwick is like over £20. Um, their, their version is called Crackle Wick. It's a crackling wooden wick, iced cranberry, sugared fig and blackberry and candy cane. And it does smell delicious. And we haven't tried it yet. Um, I'll let you know what it's like when we try it, but it smells absolutely gorgeous, so can't wait for that one. Uh, it's it's wet and rainy, we've got Rory over there, we've got Molly over here. So yes, it's not a very nice day today. But anyway, I do have some jobs that I still want to get done in the garden. I've still got some bulbs that I want to plant. There's some daffodils that need to go in the front garden. Um, and my beautiful lawn is now covered in leaves again. Ugh. So, oh yeah, if you wanted to see how I did my final cut of the lawn, my final mow of the season, I did make a special video for that, which obviously is now up on the channel. So you can go and check that out if you want to see me, if you want to see me mowing a lawn. <laughs> I'm not sure many people do, but anyway, uh, we'll see how that one goes. Molly wants to go out, but I bet if I open the door, she might not want to go. Oh, she's gone. There we go. Well, that's a surprise. Well, Bo's been chasing her all morning, so there we go. Ooh, later on, I may have to go up in the loft because I've bought a tree storage bag. I don't know if I've shown it you in the video, a Christmas tree storage bag. And I, I want to put the Christmas tree in it, in the loft, because... Well, the reason why I've done it is because the uh, cardboard box it came in, here's Bo, is very, very hard to get up the loft because it's very rigid... Um, and the turn on the loft is is doesn't allow for a lot of turning room. So I thought if I put it in a more pliable Christmas tree bag, that would help. So I'm going to put that in, in the loft, uh, if that makes sense. So I'll film myself doing that, if you want to see. Well, I don't actually think I have showed you, but anyway, this is what I bought from Amazon. I'll leave it linked. It's a tree storage bag, tear-proof polypropylene it fits a seven and a half foot tree ours is not seven and a half foot it's about six foot and it's in festive green this is very similar it's actually a reef bag and it's kind of see-through now this is way 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 bigger than what i actually envisaged but it's okay because i can put the reef in the middle with the candle holder in the middle and then i can put the garland around the outside so this bag uh, will be really really good for that so that needs to go up in the loft until I need it um, in the new year when we come and take the tree decorations down. But for now, I'm going to go up in the loft and um, get the Christmas tree in this bag. Well, here I am in the loft. <laughs> right, I'm climbing up. Okay, so there's not a lot of space. <laughs> and I found the Christmas tree box. I did put it somewhere nice and easy to get to. I'm going to unbox or unbag this now. And then I think we'll do a time lapse of me putting it all in. And here, oh, actually, it feels okay. It is, it is that kind of polypropylene. But actually, it's quite good. What I wanted it for was to be very bendy and pliable. So I think this is going to do it. Um, so yeah, let's just open the bag, get this in. Job done. There we go, so it's in. I'm not sure if the time lapse works, but this Christmas tree is in, it's got handles, there's plenty of room left. Um, as you can see, it doesn't even fill the whole bag. So I think this is going to be a lot better for getting the Christmas tree down. I now just need to break down the old box. Hello. Thank 
Thank you. Ooh, what could this be? What could it be? What could it be? Is it something you've been waiting for for a long time? So you've got a night that's been like February. Ah, ah, but and I've you've been very patient. And you've pre-ordered it. So you're going to tell people what it is. Or shall we just see your face when you unbox it? Matt's going to do an unboxing. I'm going to do an unboxing. Ah! Ah! This is amazing. <laughs> ah, Matt's been waiting for so long for this. <laughs> and, uh, I've been on countdown all week. Uh, what on earth could it be? It's some air pockets. It's definitely not the air pockets. It's the new Pokemon games. Ah! You're so excited! I'm so excited. <laughs> I love the Pokemon games. I do. They, they, how long? Well, we got we. You got me the last one for Christmas. I did. Three years ago when we first met. It, Christmas, I, Christmas 2019. It was. And ah. I went. I was like, I'm gonna go buy it at the shop. Let's go. And you told me not to. I did. And you gave it me early instead. I did. <laughs> but I'm you've, so excited. You've got both versions. I do have both versions, so you couldn't make a decision which yes. one I wanted. So it's Pokemon, Scarlet, Scarlet and, and Violet. Violet. Ooh. Ooh. I know what you'll be doing. I will be a Pokemon widow. For a good three to six months. <laughs> Uh, anyway, you've got it now, so you've been you've been tracking it. And this is me for the day. Ah, terrible. Okay, apparently it's got a steel case. It's got a steel case. So I can put both the cards in. Oh, there we go. It's funky. Yeah, nice little travel case. Mm. Hi everybody! It is Friday, and Matt's still playing Pokemon. So I've come back to my old house in the hole in the old garden. Um, and I just thought I'd show you all what it looks like now. So obviously it's um, winter time. Uh, here is well, yeah, it's, it's it. I I class it as winter now. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, so there are a few changes here. My mother obviously took up the roses, which I now have. And in these pots where they were, there was these are the pots where there used to be three in a pot. There are now um, some of these topiary bushes. There we go. Uh, the greenhouse is being used for log storage because they have a log burning stove. Uh, that's obviously where the cats used to sit. Um, the rose, I mean, this is humongous now. Where the meadow was, it's now been dug over and turfed because my parents didn't want to have a meadow. They wanted the grass, so that's all nice. I mean, look at the size of this now. This has this actually really grown. It's grown since the last time I came. Uh, that is humongous. Just look at that, wow. Uh, we also have the wind chime. Now this wind chime is mine, so I can at some point come and take it, but the thing is, I haven't got anywhere to hang it, so it can stay here for now. Um, that's my Christmas tree, I planted that. It's actually gone quite huge now. Um, these pots had my roses in, they've now got some topiary. They actually look quite nice with the little topiary balls. That's a conifer topiary ball, and then there's, um, box toperies over there the bench used to be over here that's now there against the wall i've still got this rose now i think all of my climbing roses i'm going to leave here because they're already in situ and i can buy new ones so that's fine um the other roses that i've planted in in the new garden came from here in this bed so uh, my mom hasn't put anything in there yet um, again, I do have some rambling roses at the back going up the fence. They can stay there, that's fine. Uh, not bothered really about those, but there was another couple of roses here. Um, I think my... Did they dig out the Golden Celebration? Oh, I think they've actually, they've actually taken out the Golden Celebration. So um, that's gone from in this orange blossom bush. Um, they've put the pot there to stop, I think, any cats, animals, badgers coming through oh i still have my statues those are my gargoyles <laughs> so we'll probably leave those but anyway i just thought it'd be nice for you to see the garden um i planted that box hedge as well in fact that's really grown it's grown huge um so yeah that's what the garden looks like this time of year obviously my table and chairs yeah it's all looking quite nice this planter here used to be where the table and chairs is now. And the table and chairs used to be down down there. Okay. 
so there we go that is the garden at the moment okay so now time to have a look at the old house <laughs> so there has been some work going on in here i'm just trying to shut the door behind me there has been some work going on in here this was my utility room and it's going to be turned into a kitchen a proper kitchen so my mom and dad have got a fridge freezer here that's where my single freezer was where my tumble dryer is i'm not quite sure what they put in there they've got um a washing machine there which is where my washing machine was um and then i think they may be having some more cupboards put in underneath there that's where i used to put shoes and then i think they're going to have the oven across this way here so the worktop will be extended to go all the way across a bit like a very small galley kitchen and of course there is the skylight as well so big changes here this used to be my living room that's actually my rug i did take that to the new house and it didn't go it was a bit too big and it wasn't quite the right color um so i brought that back <laughs> these are the units still to go in the kitchen so that's all looking good yes here we go um so this is where the sofa used to be and then obviously we've got the big um, glass windows uh, it's all been painted out as well so in the same color that it was in fact it's the same color we've got in the new house now the biggest change <laughs> the biggest 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 change is the addition of a door so um, that's my bookcase it's still got all my books on it that can stay there for now because I'm still working out what to do with them but this door now connects what was my house into my parents orangery <laughs> so yeah it's it's been made into i know people were wondering what was going to happen to the house um it's now going to be one house so that is the connecting door it's a glass door and it opens into this corridor so i'm going to continue down things are covered up because they're still being um decorating done so let's just pop into the bathroom so it's a bit like an empty house tour isn't it Ooh, now i haven't actually seen this since it's been decorated so those are my old units they were too big to go in the, in the new house uh shower it's still the same um i forgot how big this bathroom is there's another, another skylight above this bathroom is huge um it's much bigger than the one we've got now uh, in fact, when I was planning this bathroom, I could have got a bathtub in as well. But I wanted the space to, to walk and I wanted a big shower. And this is a huge shower. I mean, I, I forgot how big that shower is. It's enormous. And of course, the rainfall shower. This was the shower that made me fall in love with rainfall showers. Uh, oh, now this. The mirror so that's my mirror and it's had some nice edging put on it because it has started to go a bit you know when when the when the mirrored glass starts to go a funny color so that's been all taped up and it looks really really good um so yeah that's the that's the bathroom uh that's just a boiler cupboard um so going through into the old kitchen so this is going to all be taken out the plan is to completely strip it and it's going to be turned into an office for for my dad so this will be my dad's office so you can see how small the kitchen was i don't think i've ever really i mean i have shown you um but you can see how small the old kitchen was and it's just a really awkward space because you've got the staircase where the cooker is you bang your head on there um so it'll be much better as a study um so yes that's there's my toaster. This is still my stuff. <laughs> I've still I've still got stuff here. Uh, quite a lot of stuff. Right, back into now the... If I turn the light on. Back into the dining room, which I think is going to be a living room. Not a main living room. That's the worktop, I think, for the um, new bit of kitchen. So, still, those are my curtains. Um, obviously, the log-burning stove... This is where the dining table set was. This was the carpet I had put in. These are my beautiful lights that I don't have. I don't have wall lights in the new house. Um, there's going to be a ceiling pendant put in. That's all been smoothed off because it was all stipply. So, yeah. Oh, that's my antique table. <laughs> that's mine as well. Um, yeah. 
Okay, let's go up the stairs. Okay, so a big change that I haven't seen. The banister has now been put on. In fact, this banister was the banister that was that came from my new house. Um, we didn't want it because we didn't sort of need it and we wanted a bit more of a sleeker look. But my mum and dad had it and they put it in here. So this is actually from, <laughs> from the new house. Right, so to the left is my office. Um, it's still my office, although I haven't used it. The room here used to be my bedroom. Um, it's now got my mum and dad's day bed in. Um, yeah. So this day bed came out of the room that's the other side of this wall. And I think they're going to use, I think they're going to put a double bed or a king size bed um, in the other room. So yeah, this used to be my wardrobe, but I still think it's got my stuff in. It has, it's still got all my Royal Reviewer clothes. Yeah, I've still got all my all my really nice fancy outfits. Oh, I forgot I got this leather jacket. Okay, that's my I've had that leather jacket years. That leather jacket was probably from the year two thousand. Still fits me. It's, it's a good one. It's a Ben Sherman. Um, so yeah, this is all my stuff. Wow, I, I am seriously going to have to come back and. Um, retrieve a lot of these things uh the blinds have been put in they weren't there when i was here uh, that's my console table that's my mirror i do want that mirror in the new house so i will be having that um oh no my rolling rat's not here i thought my rolling rat was there okay so um and then and then we have then we have my office. So I've tidied up slightly, slightly. This used to be where my green screen was. Um, there are there are lots of things I still want from here. So obviously tiaras, tiaras are plenty, just gathering dust. My studio lights, random sombrero, um, hyacinth bouquet. Yes, and obviously all my more jewellery and props and all kinds of things so yes there's still things that i need to um take from here there we go so it feels like old times <laughs> it feels like old times vlogging from my kitchen in my normal window that has really really good lighting which is why i always used to vlog from here <laughs> so um so yeah i'm gonna go home now i've checked everything's okay here um and it's time to go home and have some lunch I also found some old cookbooks as well. So these, these are books that I've inherited. Um, I need to take all these back to the new house. So I was just looking through. There's an interesting recipe for some Spanish puffs. Uh, we all love a nice Spanish puff in our mouth, don't we? Uh, and there's the Royal Cookery Club with all lots of... I mean, these are really old, old-fashioned uh, recipes. I mean, look at, look at some of the... Well, I saw a picture. <laughs> and I'm trying to find one of the... Pic I mean, look, look at these. Wow, I mean, yeah, this is like, fa this is Fanny Craddock stuff, without being Fanny Craddock. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take some of these back and um, look for some recipes for Christmas, for Boxing Day. So really quickly, before I go back home, I'm back in the main part of my parents' house, my childhood home. And this is my this is my childhood soft plush toy. It's Roland Rat, and he is must be as old as me. He's almost forty years old. And Roland Rat was a big kind of eighties TV um, car well character puppety type show. Um, he does have his original outfit. These this is what um, my auntie Margaret knitted. Um, hello, auntie Margaret and Jennifer. Um, he still has his dressing gown with his R on, but those are his original clothes, the Roland Rat. Um, he's well loved. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, he could probably do a bit of a wash actually. Uh, but he used to be all plush and beautiful. Look at his little eyes, his little pink ears. He needs a bit of a bit of a wash, I think. There we go. So I've still got him. He's got his little blue trousers on, but he's keeping warm in the winter. The, the cost of living crisis will not get to Roland Rat. I used to have a Kevin the gerbil as well. Um, but yeah, that's my Roland. Oh, that's a big scream. You've already been outside today.
You don't need to go outside again. Well, not when it's freezing like this. Uh, hello and <laughs> and welcome to Saturday. And yesterday, I don't know if I vlogged this, I can't remember, but we've got one, two, three, four cherries boxes. This is part of a £100 order. We've also got the cherries box over there to open live. Um, but this is actually um, just for us and it's £100. So we'll be opening that on the channel at some point and there will be a discount code as well for 10% off. Um, just thought I'd, hello Bo, pick up the camera. We're going out. We've got to run a few errands. We need some toilet roll because we're out of that. Um, we need something for tonight's dinner. We're not quite sure what we fancy. And... I need to go pop to the garden centre to see if they've got any wallflowers. I really love wallflowers and I do have a plan for them. So um, I've, I've seen a variety called Sugar Rush and uh, Sugar Rush flowers twice every year. Normally you only get one kind of display uh, in the spring, uh, but these Sugar Rush is autumn and spring. So I want them to go in between the roses all the way along there. There is also daffodil bulbs under there um, and I also want them for the front of the house as well but it's actually quite nice weather today so if it carries on nice carries on being nice when I get back I might go outside and plant the remaining daffodil bulbs weather depending also oh, by the way I still need to do my hair I've just had a shower and just combed it wet I need to dry it properly um also probably next week I'm definitely going to be putting up the Christmas tree, all the Christmas decorations, because I need them up to get my photo done for the patrons only Christmas cards. If you didn't know, I do have Patreon and I do a weekly chat every single Thursday at 7 p.m. UK time. And certain patrons who are, who are at certain tiers get a Christmas card, a personalized one. I take a photo, it's been Matt and myself on the, uh, on the photo every year for the past three years, I think and they get posted out. But because of postal strikes and things, I want to get it sent out earlier than what I normally do, just so that in particular overseas uh, patrons can actually get it in time for Christmas. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So I, I know it's early for me to put the tree. I normally wait until the first week of December. Um, I think I'm gonna have to put it up now just to get the Christmas photo done. Um, the seasonal uh, photo, how swanky I know. Uh, <laughs> and then I can get it uh, ordered, uh, I, I can receive it, I hand write out the envelope and then it gets posted out. Um, well, I've got to take it to the post office. So Christmas needs to come a little bit early. So I am excited about that. So let me know, uh, when are you gonna put your Christmas tree up? Let me know. Ooh, at the garden centre, and I think I've just seen a shed that I really like, a pent roof shed, £609 from sheds now, and it's only really slender. Um, so it's a bit of a taller version than the one that we've got, but I do like it. Let's just have a little peek inside. Does it open? Let's have a Ooh. Oh, I like this. I can have all my tools laid out nicely. <laughs> I do like this. Love to get a, a photograph of the sizes. No, I like, and it's got a little window too. <gasps> I love it. Okay, as you can see, we have Christmas things already. <gasps> Look at that big fiber optic tree. Wow. See, they're good, those little lights as well yeah. that come down, you can just hang them up. And they're really, really nice. See, they've got Christmas trees too. Mm. Oh, look. I've got the reindeer. He's moving. <laughs> look. That's really, really cute. So I think, are these outdoor trees? Or just ones for inside? I think they're inside ones. Okay, I found the wallflowers, but um, I'm sort of in the middle of the season. So they still have some, but they're not looking very healthy if you look. So I don't know what to do. We are back from the shops, from Morrison's. And Matt's got brownies. I do. You really like these ones. I do, they're really good. So that, that sorts out his chocolate fix. I've got a, a box to take, start taking down all of the autumn decor that we're going to keep. Obviously the pumpkins are real, so I need to decide what to do with these. Uh, I think I might just put them outside for the birds to kind of peck out and eat. But anyway, uh, I've got some bread rolls for sandwiches. Mince pies. And mince pies. Okay, what else is there? Got some ham and some mushrooms. There's loads of things. Oh, there is one thing I really, there's the lid for the box. One thing I want to show you, the um, Indian uh, oh, meal yeah. for two that we bought. So, 
Morrison's. It was reduced. It was used to be eight pounds something. We got this for five pounds. It's a takeaway banquet for two. Uh, chicken korma, chicken tikka masala, pilu rice, two naan breads and two onion bhajis for five pounds. I thought that was quite a bargain. Oh, Hobnobs, Maureen wanted some more. She's getting through them Hobnobs. She, she is. She, she is. is. She's really getting through them. Isn't she? She is. She's, she's going to be the size of a house. Well, bigger. <laughs> some chicken. Oh, some ketchup. What else is there? Yes. Oh, chicken kidney. Now, these are good as well for Morrison's. Four garlic and herb chicken Kievs. They're actually very, very nice. Uh, some chips. I don't people can see that. Aunt Bessie's. Um, crisp, crisp and fluffy crinkle cut chips. Some steamed veg. We like those. Is that it? Yeah. And some cheese. Now, there's a baby over there on the top. We also have, we found this. So, um, pet advent calendars are really expensive. Even on Amazon, we found this one, it was £4, and it's full of treats. So obviously it's got some uh, meowy uh, chicken breast meat, 100% tuna, and real chicken. So uh, they should be nice. What I shall do is just open a window every day during Advent and just give them all equally whatever is inside. So that's quite nice. Um, and obviously we were running a bit low on the oh-so-soft quilted. Your bottom will thank you. It is Sunday, okay. and we're not having a roast dinner today. We no. are having, Matt's cooked some sesame chicken, and it's it's yummy. There seems to be quite a lot there. <laughs> and we're having it with some rice. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there might be enough to have for tomorrow's dinner as well. <laughs> you have done quite a lot there. <laughs> I have done the perfect amount. Mm, really? Mostly sauce. <laughs> uh, and then after this, uh, Matt's parents are coming because we've got some tickets to go and see the Polar Express. Yeah. Which is a Christmas thing. If you haven't seen the po Polar Express movie, um, it's kind of based on that. It's a steam train ride and we are going to film it. Not for this vlog. We're going to do it for a Vlogmas episode. Yeah. So it's really, really, really uber Christmassy. So that will be really, really nice to bring to you all at some point in December. But look, mm, yummy, can't wait. <laughs> Hi everybody, different filming location for this segment because um, I'm charging up my laptop and the wire is upstairs in the office. So here we are in the home office and I'm going to be unboxing or rather unbagging this little gift. Um, it was a gift from Red Row. Uh, so a really big thank you to all at Red Row. Um, we filmed their Christmas show home, which is going to appear on the channel. It should be up on the 25th of November. So depending on when this video goes out, you may have seen it or it may be upcoming. But they gave us a little goodie bag and it says, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Love Red Row. So I'm gonna show you what is in here. And I've been dying to show you. So, ooh, we have a little Christmas cracker. This is um, Milk Mark de Champagne Truffles. Oh, I do love a champagne truffle, so I cannot wait to get my chops around that. Um, I wonder how many is in here. How many in here? It says truffles. I'm imagining at least three, probably, at least three truffles. Right, ooh, we have a chocolate panettone with chocolate chips. This one looks really, really, really nice. Look at that one. It's got a nice festive container. Do you know what? I can probably reuse that festive container for something else. It looks really, really nice. Ooh, yummy, 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 yummy. Is it, is it, oh, it's definitely diet food. I've just looked at the calories. Yes, definitely diet food. And um, okay, what is in here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Look, it says home by Red Row. Look, look, home by Red. Is it, is it their home scent? It might be. Ooh, 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 oh. oh. It is, it's one of their reed diffusers, yes. Because their homes always smell so gorgeous. So this is the reed diffuser sticks. Liking those. Oh, oh wow, oh wow, it's like a little cube, hang on. Let me put this down, so we've got the tissue paper, which again is actually really nice tissue paper. I could reuse that. Look at me, reuse and recycle. 
<laughs> By the way, Mac is downstairs, and you probably won't see him much from now on because the the new Pokemon game is out. So he's playing the Pokemon game. <laughs> Ooh, oh wow! Get a load of that. It's the actual red rose smell. I know we always talk about the red rose smell. I don't think it has specifically a name. Um, I can't see a name to it, but. Um, there is the actual Red Row Home scent. So that'll be fantastic. I will be opening up that and putting that somewhere. There is one more thing in here. I'm not sure what this could be, but I have no clue. Ooh, ooh, you know, I love this sort of thing. This is Cartwright and Butler Spiced Plum Preserve. So it's like a Christmas jam preserve um this is going to be so just just look at the little container very old-fashioned jam jar wow mm, i bet this is gorgeous i'm not going to open it just yet because I, I don't want to break the seal until we actually want to use it but spiced plum this is definitely up my street i'm not sure whether matt's going to like it because he doesn't like anything that's got like stones or bits in it he, if there's jam or anything he likes smooth um but this is definitely 100% up my street. I shall be having that on toast. Ooh, so there we go. Thank you, there it is. <laughs> no, no more in there. Thank you so, 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 so much, Red Row. We really enjoy, obviously, touring the Red Row show homes, um, and it's an amazing Christmas show home that we've got coming up for this season. So it's mwah, chef's kiss, it's gorgeous mini amazon haul it's literally just got in i've just unboxed um so we'll get to that in a moment this is the main item but i have been after this for a while i have the original this is the platinum jubilee edition it's the other side of the coin by angela kelly the queen's dresser um so that'll be interesting to see what the updates are in that one i did enjoy the original i've also been using this as a stick but um i bought another one as a pot it's a deodorant balm it's salt of the earth, and this one's um, unscented. Just something a little bit more natural. Um, I like I say, the stick has been really good, but I just thought um, a balm might be really good, so I'll try that one. And this is what I've really been after: the Joseph Joseph Elevate Knives Slim Block Five Pieces Knife Block Set with Ceramic Sharpener. So I've bought this for over here because this knife block is old and it's not very good. So. Um, this is the new replacement for it. I will unbox it in a moment, but that's kind of what you can see. So they kind of slide out, which is really good for being underneath the counter because you can't kind of pull from the top. So I'm going to get all this set up and I will show you what it looks like uh, when it's in situ. Okay, so here is the knife block. Uh, now they come all nicely wrapped up for protection. So I'm going to be very, very careful now. I'm going to un unbag these and then put them in the block okay so there we have the new block in situ it's exactly what i wanted because all you've got to do is just lift them and pull them out and put them back in um so that's exactly what i wanted so there we go i'm always scared of knives i've never never really liked them but anyway that's how it works and i think it looks really really good so now i can get rid of the old block there's no point giving this away if you look they're they're going a bit um not very nice look around the around the edges, see? Just see if you can kind of make it out. So there's no point in giving that away. It's no good. I think one of the knife ends is kind of broken off anyway. It served its purpose. It's lasted, you know, probably over 10 years. This is also completing the Joseph Joseph sex. We also have these here. So I will leave this link so that you can find it if you should want it. It is Tuesday and I've had some orders come in. So before I run you through the um the creams i'm going to show you this well i'm not going to open it i'm going to tease you this is for advent it's an advent calendar um, and it's a consumable one one that we'll, i'll be using throughout the whole of december um so can you guess what it is i don't know if you can see the packaging through but i will be opening this every single day during vlogmas but i also ordered some creams now as you know i have been using the clinique for the past year and a half i did switch up my skincare routine. Um, but I've also been trying out, I still love the Clinique products, but I have been trying the L'Occitane, or I still can't pronounce it. Loads of you commented 
on how you pronounce it. And everyone seems to pronounce it a little bit differently. But I'm going to pronounce it Lotitan. Um, so I ordered these three things and I got these um, three um, little trial sample sachets. So the first product I ever bought from them, and it lasts a very, very long time. In fact, the only reason why I'm reordering it is because it's only just coming up for renewal and I've still got quite a bit left. Um, so I was just preempting. It's the Immortel Divine Cream, kind of anti-aging. So that goes on really, really nicely. And I just use their little plastic um, spatula that you get from the actual shop. Um, so I, I took a few of those and it gives you the perfect amount to apply. Um, so I also thought I would then try the Immortel Reset Serum. So I think this goes on after you um, tone, cleanse, tone, and then I think you put this on and then I'm going to put that one on at night time. But then I thought I might get a day, a day cream. So this is the ultra rich face cream, which I thought would be very, very good for the daytime. It doesn't have SPF in it, but we are in winter in the UK. So I thought that might be nice, but I haven't tried it. So and to be honest, I haven't tried that either. I just thought it would all go. So I have also got a free sample of that. Um, and we have the shampoo, the Equilibre uh, Gentle and Balance Shampooing um, mi Micellaire Shampoo. So yes, we'll we'll try that one. Also, it's the Immortel Precise Cream and Hand Cream. Now, I, I did try their hand sample cream on in the shop from their tester, and it was really, really good. So I'm looking forward to that one. Um, with this order, because I spent over a certain amount, I did actually get a free a free gift set. So I'll just run you through what's in the free gift set. I think it's worth about £48. So it is quite a nice one. Uh, again, kind of little travel or sample sizes. There is a shower body oil. That looks really nice. I think this is a yeah, an eau de toilette. I have no idea what it smells like. We have a, it must be a hand cream. What scent is this? Light hand cream. Um, yeah, so it looks very natural. We have a, a Huel oil to milk. Is that a makeup remover, perhaps? I don't know. One of you will tell me. Um, a man uh, conditioner. Ooh, a little pot of uh, Immortel Divine Cream. So I've already got one of those. Uh, that is the Immortel Night Reset Cream. And then there is a little Radiant Scrub Exfoliant. Do you know what? This is a really nice little set. Like I say, if you go online, I don't know about your area, wherever you're from, but do check if, if they're doing it. Because, you know, if you spend over a certain amount, then, in fact, I may even re-gift that as a gift. That is a beautiful gift with a nice presentation box. So I might even end up gifting that to someone. Oh, it could be, could be a present for my mother. She better not be looking. <laughs> but no, that is a really nice gift. So I may even put, for example, because I've got that, I may even put that in with it. And um, yeah, do you know what? That might actually be a really good gift. So I'm very, very happy. But can you guess what this Advent calendar is? Okay, so it's that time in the week that it's finally time to say goodbye. It's been another long vlog. And I know the feedback from the comments was that you like the long form content. Yay. So yay, which is good because we like to film lots of things. So Matt's been playing Pokemon. I have, it's been amazing. Yeah, Matt's really enjoyed it. So I'm sure you will know somebody who's enjoying the Pokemon game out there. So it's time to say goodbye. And from us, to you all and goodbye. Bye-bye.